Burkina Faso, formerly known as Upper Volta, is a landlocked country located in West Africa. It is bordered by six other countries. Mali to the north, Niger to the east, Benin to the southeast, Togo and Ghana to the south, and Côte d'Ivoire to the southwest. Pre-Colonial History Burkina Faso has a rich pre-colonial history, with evidence of human habitation dating back at least 14,000 years. The region was inhabited by a variety of ethnic groups, including the Mossi, the Bobo, and the Lobi. These groups developed their own cultures, traditions, and political structures. The Mossi, in particular, developed a highly centralized kingdom that dominated much of what is now Burkina Faso for several centuries. Colonial Era In the late 19th century, the French began colonizing the region that is now Burkina Faso. The area was incorporated into French West Africa, and it became known as Upper Volta. The French established a colonial administration and imposed their language and culture on the population. Independence Upper Volta gained independence from France on August 5, 1960, under the leadership of Maurice Yameogo. Yameogo became the country's first president and established a one-party state. However, his government was characterized by corruption and economic mismanagement, which led to popular protests and a military coup in 1966. Military rule From 1966 to 1980, Burkina Faso was ruled by a series of military regimes. These regimes were marked by repression, human rights abuses, and political instability. In 1980, Captain Thomas Sinkara seized power in a coup and established a revolutionary government. Sinkara Era Under Sinkara's leadership, Burkina Faso underwent a period of rapid social and economic transformation. Sinkara sought to create a socialist society that was self-sufficient and independent of foreign aid. He implemented a number of radical policies, including land reform, the nationalization of key industries, and the promotion of women's rights. Sinkara's government was also marked by a strong commitment to democracy, human rights, and environmental sustainability. However, his policies and outspoken criticism of Western imperialism made him a target of Western governments, and he was assassinated in a coup in 1987. post Sinkara era After Sinkara's death, the military government that took power continued to implement some of his policies but also reversed others. In 1991, a popular uprising led to the establishment of a new constitution and the election of a civilian government. Since then, Burkina Faso has experienced both periods of political stability and instability. The country has also faced a number of challenges, including poverty, food insecurity, and terrorism. In recent years, Burkina Faso has become a target of terrorist groups, including Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb and the Islamic State in the Greater Sahara who have carried out a number of attacks on civilians and military targets.